So we have another person suggesting to me to do a scratch project. And this time, it's Minecraft. This is a comment by LR10 Gaming so a shout out to him. So this is once again not a tutorial, so I will just explain what I am doing. So the plan is to make a Minecraft zombie chase scenario. I am now going to do the background. And then do Steve and the zombies, and there will be six zombies chasing the player, or Steve. The way I did the zombie was to duplicate Steve, and then just recolor it. It was the easiest, laziest, and fastest way to do it. So I did. Here I was just figuring out the controls, but knew that this is just way too simple so I went a step up, and added different speeds. So if Steve hits the water, it will slow down. The way I achieved this was to add two layers of coating. So if Steve is touching the color of the water it will only move two steps. This is layer, one. Then for normal speed, if Steve is touching the color, of the sand, or grass it will move normally. This is layer, 2. I thought that I will have to do more coding for it to select the right layer, but it turns out that it automatically chooses. I also attempted to add obstacles, but it failed horribly, so I scrapped that idea as the game was already challenging. So now, we get to move, onto the zombies. I only added a simple code, to just point towards the player and move. This, gives it a chase effect. Here I duplicated the zombies, so that the game is challenging. And set, them up. Then coded their spawn location. Here I started to make the death animation, for Steve. I am now coding Steve to die, then the zombies get him. I did this with a death animation, and it doesn't matter which zombie it is it will still work. I did this, by stacking a bunch of ores and put in. I'd, touching zombie 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. This project took the longest, but I am very pleased with it. This is all the programming that I had to do so now let's test it. I hope that LR10 Gaming will accept this as Minecraft because you can't build in it or do most Minecraft things but it's more like a Minecraft styled chase game. Plus I added a feature where if the player hits the water it will slow down. But the only issue is that the zombies phase together making it just one zombie. 
So what I will do in the future is that I will have zombies move at different speeds and have some point towards the mouse pointer, which I have prepared a new control setup for to work. This is by far the longest video on my channel, so it took the longest to make so I hope that there wasn't too many boring scenes. So I hope that you enjoyed watching this video, as any other video. Bye.